So is online poker rigged? Well, it can definitely feel like it is at times when you get your big premium hands counterfeited like aces or kings to weaker hands like eight, seven suited, pocket deuces, pocket threes, etc. You know, the truth is online poker, the more hands you play, the crazier things you're going to see happen. And it's just part of the game. And any of us that play online poker on a daily and weekly basis understand this fact. Now, I'm going to be breaking down some hands here in Bovada Poker, playing some one to no limit. Um, of course, as I'm getting these hands, if you guys are looking for any good online poker sites and resources, we'll have some links in the description. Now, I want you to stick around to the end because we had an ace-king situation where I shoved for like $280 or $300, something like that. And, you know, uh, overall, I thought I played pretty good in this session. I'm going to break down some of my thoughts on how I played some of these hands, but... You know, uh, I've also been pointing out if you guys are playing anything lower than this, like, you know, $50 cash games, $100, $25, you know, you got to move up to the $200 level because this is where you could start making some decent money. And I point it out all the time because it is true, guys. Okay, anyways, here we had pocket sevens and I put a bet in here at the end because I felt like I probably wasn't going to win this hand if I just checked it down. I felt like you probably had a decent hand. So I put in a bet here, kind of like just a, you know, a bluff, semi bluff, because like I said, I didn't know what he had, but, you know, fortunately for us, uh, you know, putting in the bet here actually worked out. He's going to end up folding it. So taking a hand down there with pocket sevens, you know, kind of just going for it. Sometimes you got to go with your gut and, you know, put a bet in, even if you're not sure if you're good, right? Okay. Anyways, on to the next one, but I thought those uh, sevens right there was a good play for sure. Okay, next hand, king, queen. I three bet this, which I feel like is pretty standard. You know, um, you got to be aggressive in these six max cash games, like to the max. It's all about being aggressive in the right, you know, spots. Just outplaying your opponents, man. All right, I kicked this up to like 20 bucks. Yeah, and when you're dealing with these, like, small, you know, min raises, you got to kick this up, man. We ain't seeing no flop for four bucks. You got you to gotta pay the toll, which is 20. All right, next I went an ace-king, and I think I had ace-king maybe two or three times in this session, right? It was kind of weird getting it a lot. Okay, so I just went for it right here, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do, but sometimes, you know, you just got to go with it, and I decided on this one, you know, let's just uh, let's make that all-in shove. Player two thought about it. Obviously, I could have three-bet this to like 20 or $21, which would have been fine. But whatever, we took down, what, like 18 or 19 bucks in blinds and, you know, on to the next one. Now, I know some people hate that play, but honestly, guys, you, when you get a feel for the people you're playing with at the table, you know, you adjust to it. And that's how I felt I wanted to play the hand. If you would have called me with a hand like pocket tens or pocket jacks, you know, on a coin flip, you know, whatever, I would have taken it. I knew what I was getting into. All right, next hand, uh, jack nine suited. I always play these jack nine suiteds, and this was a good one. Okay, so, uh, you know, flopping this feels pretty darn good. Now, I put in a continuation bet here because, you know, I know that he's thinking to himself, uh, you know, I've got a couple of high cards, you know, floating, whatever, if he's got like an ace-10 or an ace-jack or an ace-queen. Now, what was interesting here was he put a bet in, so obviously he had an ace with a good kicker. You know, I decided to raise it because I felt like my hand was so disguised you know, you're not seeing jack nine happen right here. So basically to him, it looked like I was putting in some kind of bluff trying to steal the pot away, maybe with like a missed draw or something like that. Anyways, he called me. I didn't get to see his cards, but I got to believe that's what he was thinking. And I 
<clears throat> felt like, uh, you know, obviously we had a really nice flop for Jack Nine suited and uh, we got a little bit lucky there for sure. But, you know, we got as much money out of that guy as we could. All right, next hand I had a Jack 10. I think it was kind of a miss flop situation with a few people calling. Okay, um, nothing here at all. We'd obviously need runner runner cards for a straight, uh, you know, maybe turning a jack or a 10. But, you know, clearly, based on how many people were in this hand, it didn't make sense for me to go along here. So, you know, I could have made the call to float it, but didn't even want to invest it. So we gave this one up pretty easy. We would have paired the 10, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Might not have been good. Who knows? All right, next hand, I think I folded this garbage. Okay, so, so far, you know, like I said, playing pretty good in this session. And, you know, a lot of the time, too, guys, like, it can be frustrating. If you're playing good for, like, an hour, uh, you know, or however long you're playing in that session, and then if you make one bad move, it can ruin everything. I've been there. It's just part of the game, guys, and you just got to accept that fact. You get into like these sticky situations where, you know, you get it all in and you're really just hoping for the best and it does happen, you know, quite a bit. Okay, so basically how I played the ace king here, you know, with the three bet and whatnot uh, to that board, I felt like he's got about $100 left. I'm just going to come over the top on this guy. If he calls me, he calls me. If we're behind, fine, whatever. But, you know, I was not going to let this check to the turn. Uh, you know, fortunately he folded because we would have missed, you know, completely. Uh, but I don't know what he had right there either. So maybe at a weaker ace combo. All right, here we go with the ace queen. Looking real pretty. Okay, so we got a three bet here, ace queen suited, clearly gonna make a call. Not gonna four bet this. Okay, so we missed everything. No draws for us, you know, no spades. Kind of sad, man. When you have ace queen suited like this and you get absolutely nothing, it's like, come on now. The poker gods, what are you doing to me? Okay, anyways, this guy clearly had a big pocket pair. Probably aces or kings. He just comes over the top here. Uh, you know, folding is the move. Having a 4-5 suited in the spot would have been pretty nice. All right, anyways, folded. Let's see what the turn card was. Was it an ace or a six? All right, no, board would have paired. So anyways, yeah, ace, queen right there, nothing. But like I said, stick around, guys, because we do have an all-in moment here, like I said, for about 280 or 300. That was a little frustrating. Okay, so this is it. And this is the thing, like I was saying, you're playing really good poker in your session. You make one bad move or you lose one coin flip and it's like you're in the negative. And, you know, you got to be aware this kind of stuff happens, guys. Online poker is not rigged. You know, it's just part of the game, man. You just play through it. Okay, anyways, I uh, three bet this pretty big. He's going to come over the top and I got my situ myself in a situation where there was no way I could fold. All I could really hope for was he had, you know, not aces you know, kings or queens, we still have a chance in this spot, um, you know, but here we go. You had about 120 left. All right, here I made the call and uh, we're going to take it to the flop. All right, nothing there for us. And to the river. Nope, guys. All right, so we lost that one. Uh, you know, it is what it is. This stuff happens. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed some more hands here. Uh, obviously, if you want to comment below about any of them, feel free to do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next poker video.